is he the guy? I know there's one. He's a cornerback, I think, because there's new rules for cornerbacks Corner this back? year. He uh, was giving an interview, and they're like, how do you feel about the new rules that make it so you can't give someone a brain injury? And he's like, hate them. And they're like, oh, what are you going to do about them? And he was like, just going to give them a brain injury, and you can find me. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> you realize yeah. this, at the end of the day, this is a game? <laughs> Some guys have taken the taking the new rules uh, very very negatively. I want that Lots guy PED have. tested because that's he, he's lo he's got too much testosterone. Did someone say too much testosterone? <laughs> <laughs> hey Bear, how does it feel to know that uh, the AFC East is going to be taken over by Sam Darnold? <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Darnold. <laughs> <laughs> He's got like a real stupid name. Hey, Darnold! Why does the NFL have the worst stat of any sport in Earth's history? The quarterback rating. The quarterback rating, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's a really, yeah, yeah. It's like the I, quadratic equation. Yeah, it's, I don't it's, understand it's it at all. You shouldn't because it's it's like four lines long of just like ridiculous nonsense put together. It's like an advanced all I know is stat. that if you get like one fifty seven point nine or something, then you're a god. Yeah, it's one fifty eight point three is the max. Sorry, yeah, I was point four <laughs> off my bad. <laughs> so you know what's weird about quarterback rating is that there's there's a second quarterback rating. I I don't know actually how the how the details of this work. But there's a second quarterback rating, still called quarterback rating, but they only use it in college, and it has a different maximum. It's just bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the earliest, like, sabermetrics kind of things that they tried to do years and years It's like ago. Hallmark inventing a new holiday to give more people jobs. It's just trying to keep the statistical industry alive somehow on a lifeline by giving them some made-up rating that they all created. Yeah, it seems silly. That said... Okay, I guess we're going kind of deep into sports talk here, but yeah, I really still don't have much to add to this. <laughs> but what deep sports? I tweeted about it the other day, and uh, there's a player who got a zero rating, quarterback rating the other day, which I I don't know how common that is because I've yeah. never seen it in my life. Uh, it's, it's not extremely it's common, actually. There's like over seven billion people that have a zero. <laughs> That's true. Fair yeah, point. Yeah, no, you're right. Point. Yeah, it's more. It's way more common than the alternative. Ryan's is negative. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan sucks at football. <laughs> I bet if you put Ryan on an NFL team and had him start, he would be so fucking bad. <laughs> yeah. No, or he'd be really good because he blind the other team because the sunlight would bounce off his dome. <laughs> Dude. If they put you in an NFL game tomorrow at any position, it doesn't matter. How many plays do you think you'd make it before you literally die? I could be a punter. Yeah, well, let's exclude punting and kicking. I'm going to figure out a loophole here. Join the game. <laughs> long Dude, snapper. Long, I was going to say because someone brought it up. Long snapper is still pretty tough because you got to snap the ball real far. I you mean, only got to block you know, for one play, though. And then you just get plowed over by the dude but in front that of you. dude would <laughs> destroy you. You <laughs> would destroy well, he, all, you. He's, all he has to do, his only job is to get to the guy kicking the ball. So he doesn't care about you. He's just going to barrel over you, and then you're <laughs> you're done. You did your job. worse, what? honestly. It's not like he can just stand over you and pump <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like blitz. when he came at me, I would just get down on the ground really quick and trip him. Fetal position. Oh, yeah. that's called a chop block and uh, is illegal. That's we illegal? don't have time, honestly. Like it would take us too long to snap the ball. We wouldn't have time to lo look up before we begin round. <laughs> I discovered a new dessert that I like today. Let me guess what it is. Sure. He said bananas foster. No, that's too complex. Uh, Tiramisu. No. It's very simple. Let me keep you, Apple let me keep you um, from fruit too wildly. <laughs> <laughs> Pretzel bites with caramel dip. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it. It's, got, it's got a Bear great balance, man. You ever go to an Auntie Annie's? Oh, oh. the pretzel stall in the mall. Yeah, the ones that are like in the mall, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, they're so good. Well, Get the uh, cinnamon sugar pretzel with the caramel sauce. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah. The worst material with which to make a snowman. Football bits or sneeman? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, all right. You can do Fair the num- You can do the math yourself. Reverse yeah. engineer the recipe for Sneeman. <laughs> When's the last time you guys went to the mall? Today. Uh, Today? Ago. What'd you go? What'd you go to the mall for? Uh, I actually updated my uh, Apple TV. Really? Uh, yeah. So I had like the first gen, and then uh, I just finally upgraded to the to 4K. Because the old one, I don't know, it does this weird thing where you'll be in the middle of a show, and then it just resets. I think it's just old and busted. I think so. it's because it's an Apple TV. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> no, it's it's a solid product. That's Apple why makes I, bad products. I gotta, got another one. <laughs> Trillion dollar company can't make a good product. <laughs> Kate's, MacBook is, <laughs> Kate's MacBook's four years old. It still runs really well. <laughs> <laughs> Planned obsolescence, am I right? <laughs> it was a little bit more expensive than a normal laptop at that point, but still. <laughs> yeah. Where's the halftime show? The Inside Out dancers or the bad dancers? Oh, it's not like the Pixar movie. You mean like they're torn, they're turned around? Yeah, no, all, yeah, yeah. yeah, yours is really wholesome. Mine's terrifying. A sign you wouldn't want to see at a seafood restaurant. Discount fish, everything must go, or I see food, I eat it. I would love to see that. <laughs> I would eat food restaurant. Yeah, would I would also yeah. love to see I that. would eat there. You know what I love about a seafood restaurant is that everyone I've ever been to in my entire life has all sorts of nautical shit on the walls. At least has yeah, like, like a like a buoy a, yeah. and then like a captain's a wheel and a picture of a boat and stuff like that. Old ropes. Yeah. yeah, just weird shit on the walls. I love it. <laughs> yeah, what's that about? <laughs> Just find shit on the beach and glue it to the wall. Like a couple of seashells and then like, you know, a lobster wearing sunglasses and stuff. I don't know, what's the deal with that with, with restaurants where they feel like the, every square inch of space has to be filled with something? Well, you gotta have shit to look at while you're waiting for your food. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> it's keeping you from looking at your phone because that's rude. <laughs> hey, look at, look at that pits. photo of Elvis! <laughs> wow, remember him? That's interesting. <laughs> the worst part about being a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. All the smegma getting caught under their shell or growing up. I still think it's weird that they never talk about them when they used to be teenagers. They only talk about them since they became turtles. Mm. Like, do they even have names? Well, they That's were turtles. Like, That's the depressing part. They were not yeah, they teenagers were. that became turtles. They were turtles the whole time. Yeah. It's not like no, there's they like fu- they fused with the turtles in the the goo. It's not like there's four families out there being like, "Where are my sons?" <laughs> <laughs> that would be a really interesting plot twist. <laughs> Why did we all name them after <laughs> Italian artists? <laughs> <in the restaurant>? Have <laughs> you seen my son Michelangelo? <laughs> <laughs> I know we live in New York City. <laughs> They didn't name them that. It's, those were their names after they became half turtle people. Oh, they took it's the on turtles those names that give them the, to the Italian Renaissance artists. The heroing. Yeah, yeah. A mystery that Sherlock Holmes could never solve. The case of the big nerd or the case of the top member of the 69 while in free fall. <laughs> oh, it was Splinter that gave them their artist names. You don't actually give us the wrong lore when you're correcting us now. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to go watch some... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lore videos later on tonight. It was three sleeping. kids with attitude, or four kids with attitude. They walk and they would step into a puddle and no. then they turn into turtles. They were turtles the whole time. The turtle <laughs> DNA was left in the puddle from a prior. <laughs> they were turtles the whole time. So I've been playing a lot of Spider Man lately. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it, 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 you would be surprised how often the uh, the topic comes up about that time that it's now time Peter gave Everything Mary Jane cancer double. by coming Twice in her. That comes up in <laughs> chat or in the game. Excuse uh, me? <laughs> yeah, it's a real, <laughs> real comic, real comic, real thing that happened in the comic. So the spider radioactivity gave his cum radioactivity. Doesn't that mean Peter Parker is also dying? It's a Doctor Manhattan situation. Right, right, right. Oh yeah, we're all dying. I guess that's true. Peter Parker just makes the most of it every day. It's weird that people look at his apartment because they're walking on the street, and then a man flies out of the window all, like every day, and mm-hmm. nobody thinks maybe that's where Spider-Man lives. Yeah, it's New York. Well, there's, a... <laughs> there's a scene in Spider-Man Two because I watched it recently, where uh, Peter has to deliver pizzas, right? And he's and wrong. He's like, Bike gets destroyed and he has to go over into an alleyway and change into the Spider-Man outfit. And he goes in the alley and somebody sees Spider-Man come out and he's like, "Oh shit! Spider-Man just stole that guy's pizza." <laughs> the best name for an obese rapper: Big Jiggles or Bulimia Buster. 
Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> More votes for me, I guess. <laughs> That's a yikes for me. <laughs> I didn't like saying either of them. What? What's wrong with Big Jiggle? I don't know. It just, just didn't feel right to say. I'm just saying, if you guys want to call me Big Jiggles, you're more. I think Big Jiggles is a lot more wholesome than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say it, and I submit it. <laughs> Lil Plum, so good. Uh, uh, that is so good. good yeah. Yeah. The name of a cable network that no one watches. All of them or radioactive cum. So does Mary Jane have to go for treatment? She dies. She yeah, dies. She yes. Dies. Well, why? It's okay. Why? Well, who's Spider-Man in a date then? Eric. Oh wait, no, she said too. <laughs> what is doing this to Peter? Off the cuff, <laughs> bit. Everyone who's died in a video game dates Peter yeah. Parker for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The dog from Marley and Me. <laughs> and next, something, something you should never put on an open wound. Mayonnaise or another open wound? I think mayo might help. It has bonding properties. Moisturize a little bit. It'll <laughs> what would help more? Yeah. Would it help more than another open wound? But I think I think another open wound would help like build resistances further, right? Mm. Not if it's somebody else's open wound. Oh, well, true. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> One of Mayo's primary ingredients is vinegar, so I feel it's like open wounds. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, that's the main thing. <laughs> but it would taste right better. There at the label, dude. Peter Parker dated Luigi, who is now fucking dead. Yep, that's true. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot he died. An alternate name for the Mona Lisa: the unimpressed Goober or Juana Smiley. <laughs> All right, I, like, yeah, I like these. I, really I like them. both of these. Yeah, these are, this is a difficult choice. You guys ever see uh, Juana? Yes. Man? Yes, yeah. I have. Uh, yeah. Just that was very, a film, wasn't it? It's a very yeah. bad movie with an extremely <laughs> bad message. Yeah. 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 Dude, like, very, what's the point of that film? It's, a re it's bad on all levels, really, that one. Is that one of the movies with the very worst message? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Guy is in the NBA. Yep. Uh, gets kicked out, cheats to play in the WNBA, and also woos Vivica A. Fox, who for whatever reason at the end of the movie is like, yeah, you did a fucked up thing, but let's bang. Yeah, she was in that. That's right. She was, dude. Mm -hmm. The worst thing you can tell the kids about the death of the family dog. Bark or yeah, he was eviscerated by the shredder. Wowie. Now I know why they call you a fox. <laughs> if you had murder come, what would you do with it? Hold on, what? Radioactive cancer would Put yeah. it in your wrists and fire it at people? <laughs> would you? Is that what you would do? I mean... Well, apparently that's well, what you're supposed to do. I have a real all question. Okay. Spider-Man yeah. Spider was we bit by a radioactive too. spider. Right. Yeah. How much of a dose of radiation did it give Spider-Man that, you know, years later, his cum is still radioactive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think cum stores radioactivity the most out of any liquid in the body. That's probably true. Yeah, I don't know enough about semen to dispute. It's the most viscous. Right? Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> and why isn't he sick in that it's case? It's for the balls. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh my. A great new invention that starts with automatic. I'm just asking, like, did Spider Man get bit on the balls? Did, this, did the spider the bite him on the balls? <laughs> Ow! What if Spider-Man was just really old? Right, um, like, the, say say Spider-Man happened to be, like, 70, right? And then he gets the spider powers and is like, well, this isn't fucking gonna do anything. <laughs> I, I, okay, so I can shoot walls and I'm not gonna climb and break my hip. Yeah. Yeah. Alternate Spider-Man universe. That's the whole story. I do like oh. seeing... Fat guys yeah, in, in Spider-Man outfits, though, mm. because it always mm. gives me a good chuckle. It makes Dude, him very of durable something sort of similar to that. I've, uh, we've we've brought up this show before on this program, uh, Ultimate Beastmaster. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yo, don't you fucking scoff, you son of a bitch. <laughs>
it's a great show. It's a wholesome, entertaining program that brings countries together and uh, allows them to compete with each other. Part of my and favorite uh, television genre, adult obstacle courses. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of judgmental there over there, Skipper, I, huh? Uh, if you think that's judgmental, I think it's an objective description of what the television program entails. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Okay. Can, I, can, I go, can I go the other direction? And can I say, you know what? We should make playgrounds that are just for adults. Absolutely. Yeah. 100% with playground. you on that. That's Dude, cool. those exist in Vegas, and they are awesome. Really? Yes. See, that's fantastic. Awesome. That's called the gym. You're all, all the fun has been sucked out of your bodies. Like a syringe was stuck into the back of you, and out came all the fun just sucked out like a plunger. I mean, they're, they're just wrong in that case. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. The gym, I mean, if, if your gym has like a climbing wall and a pool and stuff like that, that's one thing. But like, if your gym is like you go and you pick up heavy things and put them back down, that's not really like a playground. Yeah. No, that's that's not how you played on the playground when you were a kid. <laughs> just, we just rock up, hung out rock by down. the field of rocks. Yeah, and just lifted the heaviest. Yeah, uh, and a gravel pile. Hi, Hapu. Hapu. I want um, an ultimate crossover of American Ninja or the whatever gladiator show there is now, plus BattleBots, where they have to like climb through death Welcome robots that are trying to kill them. Mm. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. And okay. then you got like two or three dudes on remote controls, like activating the flamethrower and the hammer. Mm -hmm. Look, hear me out. If they all consent to it, can we not just have a real live battle royale? I'd watch. I would not. Oh, Russia's watch. doing that, aren't they? <laughs> like purge style? What are you talking about? Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, yeah, hey, there you go. Get some prisoners, you know. Somebody, <laughs> there you yeah, go. Just get yeah, some prisoners. Just get some prisoners. You know, like get the, we're trying to roll out that system, right? Like anybody who's ever smoked like one joint, just send them into the arena. I'm glad that you say <laughs> you would watch, because whenever this gets brought up, I feel like there's always somebody that's like, "Don't deny it. We would all watch it." And I'm like, dude, that's you've got such a dire view of humanity. Like, I definitely would not watch the like fight to the death battle royale. <laughs> yeah, it would that be. sounds horrifying. It would be yeah, terrible. Yeah, yeah, it would be bad. terrible in a lot of ways. You guys ever injected a marijuana? So Not often, dude. Over. Like, it, I can't like, stop. It gets stuck sometimes in your vein, and you gotta push it through. You gotta force yeah. it in there, man. That's when well, it's what the you, best, though. In that situation, you gotta push it through That's to the other the side and pull right. it out, right? You know. Oh, you pull it back bonus. out? I push oh, it yeah. until I can't see it anymore. It pull One it back out, loop it around, and then squirt it right on through. One place a finger shouldn't go. On the big red button or perpendicular to a basketball. I like it. I like <laughs> it. Good callback. Isn't that the what premise of Death Race? It is the premise of Death Race, which it's was. the premise of like a lot of movies. Lot of that yeah, that but that wasn't a documentary. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite yeah. basketball movie? That's a great Air question. Bug. Uh, Clubber, I guess. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> Technically, <answer. laughs> counts, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, he does I mean, play my, basketball on that. My honest, real answer is probably Space Jam. Oh, I haven't seen that in so long. I wonder if it holds up. No, White man can't not. jump. Yeah. I remember. Okay. I actually like that movie on that run. I remember thinking at eight years old, wow, Michael Jordan can't act. That was eight. Oh. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's all I'm saying. Dodgeball would be a better sport if battle bots were allowed or battle royales were allowed. In uh, grade three, we had, well, I mean, all through public school, we had book reports. And I read the book for Space oh, Jam. Oh, no. <laughs> the novelization <laughs> for Space Jam. <laughs> And then we I, I remember. I, I remember oh, the oh. fucking cover to that book, wasn't it? Like yeah. it was like black with the planet on it. And That's it was MJ all with... Space Jam related merchandise. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. But... It had Michael Anyways. Jordan's silhouetted face, and then all the Looney Tunes behind him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it was I, that. I did the book report on it, and then I I got it marked and and given back, and there was like you know I had a lower mark, and and a bunch of red was on it, and oh no. The, my teacher thought I didn't know how to spell monsters because I was <laughs> monsters. <laughs> so I had to go back up and be like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> you need to watch the movie. <laughs> okay, your mouth, you should have taken a piece of paper and written a big F and circled it and handed it to your teacher. Yeah. And said, you failed knowing about Space Jam, yeah, teacher. Exactly, dude. Three. I mean, I wanted to do that. And then but you I should also... have punched her in the throat. <laughs> yeah. Just chopped her right, right down. And then throwing her flowers in the garbage like Ryan. Yeah. 
A terrible okay. name for a 1930s gangster. Claude Von Spanky or Mickey No Balls? <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Just a Dick Tracy character, really. Well, dude, like, Mickey No Balls could have a totally hardcore story. Well, yeah, like, instead not. of balls, he's got two Tommy guns. <laughs> yeah, okay. He, like, unzips his, like he goes to the bathroom situation. with his victim and unzips his fly and is like, Sorry, I've been holding this one for a long time. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm moving back and forth as I do that. Can I just say, though, the, the, the hypothetical situation that you jumped to imme immediately was very dark. He went to the bathroom with his victim? Yeah. <laughs> well, the dude he wanted to kill. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, he, he wanted to kill him, so it was wholesome, Rob. He just wanted to kill him. It wasn't like a like a captive situation. It wasn't weird or anything. The worst Thanksgiving Day balloon would be a giant inflatable dildo or a giant inflatable corporate mascot we have to applaud. <laughs> I like pisses stored in the Tommies. That's good. <laughs> you guys ever see uh, From Dusk Till Dawn? Yeah, yeah. 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 The... What's his face? George love, Clooney? Love yeah. Quentin Tarantino? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, you're talking but about, um, you're talking, I know love him. Love Machine. Yeah, Love Machine. He is played by the horror dude who goes to all the conventions in the American Midwest. Yeah. That's all hang on, hang on a second. Does Wait, really none of us can remember his name right now? Frank, Tom Savini. That's right. Mm. Oh, Danny Tom Trejo is the bartender. <laughs> Yeah, I thought we were trying to remember Donnie Tre or Danny Trejo right there. Oh, yeah, no, I know Don Trejo? Yeah, I might have no. said that. No, I said it. Donnie Tree Hugger. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> you know, he's done like a bajillion movies. Yeah, and most of them are not very good. Yeah, well, when you do that many movies. I mean, his best role was when they made a prosthetic of his head. <laughs> I was like, man, D Danny What's Trejo. Danny Trejo's killing it in this movie or this <laughs> television episode that is on the par with the quality of cinema. Dude, I I just thought of the best tweet. Yes. I Photoshop the B from the B movie in between Jake and Logan Paul. B is stored in the Pauls. Okay. That's it. Nope. I like it. Yeah. Tweet the photo. Mm -hmm. Caption, B is stored in the paws. Nope. It's not good. It's a good tweet. I'm <laughs> telling you that as your friend. It's a very good tweet. It does you would not. retweet that. <laughs> I don't even get it. <laughs> B is stored in the paws? I get it because it's like. I mean, he explained it just then. You flip, like, the, flip the letters. Yeah. Worst toy store, build a blank workshop. It's so good. How about you? Wait, you don't get it, sir? Why don't you lift the okay, feathers? Everyone, vote for your Tell you what. <laughs> I'm going to Photoshop it. Okay. I'm tweet it. I'll, but I want to see his dick, and I want his balls to be bees. <laughs> <laughs> then tweet You it. know it's good because people are, like, angry at it. That's how you know it's good. Or you're a coward. Oh, the wow. worst toy <laughs> store. Build a sentient AI companion workshop or build a Logan Paul workshop. Oh, dude. I For some reason, I just want to buy his merch. I don't know why. It's the Christmas commercial <laughs> that he did. <laughs> Dent the Universe, yo. Is that the brand name? Dent the Universe? No, it's like one of his slogans, though. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Are we like the old like men on the porch? In, uh, in the yeah, I just don't get YouTube kids world. nowadays. Yeah, like almost. Something you can only do in Walmart if no one's looking. Bang in the car stereo section or smile. I feel like that's specific <laughs> enough to have a story attached. Well, have you ever been it? inside of a Walmart? I, yeah. Nobody's smiling. Oh, no, I, I, I think I meant the other one. <laughs> to be honest. Well, you guys never banged in the car stereos? <laughs> Do they sell car stereos at Walmart? They have a yeah, whole man. section for car stereos? Nobody yeah. ever goes back there. That's where you bang if you're gonna. I remember, yeah. like, I go to a future shop with my dad in, like, 1998. They'd have a hundred car stereos, and you'd push the buttons on them. But, like, I thought that I've they, never banged in the car stereos. I, love, I thought that Walmart. that changed back in, like, the year 2000. No, I still got them. Walmart's Probably earlier still... than that, right? I haven't done it, Chan. I haven't. The year 2000, when the future shop went out of business, they no longer had the concept of future in mind. It's when No the year joke. It, it's just Best Buy now. Oh, man. The best thing about being thrown into a volcano, you finally get the rest you deserve, but... Or not having to get out of it. <laughs> 
It's actually deserve. <laughs> deserve? Yeah. I like any word that ends on a sound of you like. <laughs> deserve. Yeah. Yeah, Is there a word that naturally ends like that? Trump. All of them, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah that's a good one. Mm -hmm. We get it, you're liberal. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, an ill-advised ill merit. <laughs> an ill-advised outfit to wear to your first day at a new job. Burger King outfit to McDonald's or that one that Two-Face wears in the 90s movie. Ah, uh, yes, I believe it was called Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I've ever heard about Tommy Lee Jones is that he's like completely humorless and a real yeah. asshole to work with. Aww. The which is no, it's so much better this way. He seems so cool. That's Imagine awesome. him having to suit up in that ridiculous <laughs> outfit and spend like 2 hours in the makeup chair every single day to film Batman Forever is hilarious. Probably why he's mad. The only 5 <laughs> words in your obituary in the newspaper this dude fucked, fucked, fucked. That's really good. Or he owes me 50 bucks. Yeah, this dude fucked, fucked, fucked. <laughs> up and down, up and down. I, I want it to be like fucked and then fucked in normal font and then like bolded. Fucked. Uh, he fucked. Hey, you guys ever have sex? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Sure, sex yeah, is dude. great. Right? Wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah, wrong. That's just not cool, man. Yeah. Whoa, what? Hold on. Saving it till marriage. That's what's cool. I actually had to uh, promote the idea that through education, youth can feel empowered to focus on a future uh, that will allow them to develop and achieve their goals through abstinence education. Futuremethod.org. Wait, that was our. That oh, I thought you meant as like a sponsored deal. It was, yeah. No, it, no, not for me though. It was back when I was working at the radio station. Oh, I had to do like we had to read really. these uh, PSAs for this uh, uh, nonprofit thing that we're doing. That it was pretty good. Man, this is the worst final quiplash ever. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that's, yeah that's pretty bad. I hate this. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Oh, I answered the same thing as someone else! <laughs> oh, dude! I bet That's I know what it was, too. Surprising. Was it four words, Nick? It was I am blank blank. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dude, I am Harvey Dent is a pretty good answer. Or I am the Joker. Yeah, gamers rise up. Uh, mm -hmm. We live in a society. Why so serious? Oh, my God. I'm, pick <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick. Oh, I hate this. Crippling debt. Look around, bitch. We die in here. Or I'm Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah, Pickle Rick I'm... won an Emmy, dude. Yeah. Wait, Deservedly really? so. But like, yeah. isn't the, like, the Pickle Rick episode is like pretty good. It's mostly just that it got endlessly repeated and parroted over and over that made it so bad. Yeah. But the episode is really good. It's a good episode. Rick and Morty in general is pretty good. It was just those things you said that made I, it right. I questionable. Agree. I agree. Especially because he said it really, really close to the microphone and make sure yeah. that we heard the problem. Hey, you guys Are like we, Szechuan sauce? We're what allowed to have that opinion, right? We're not bad people now? I think no, you fun. are. Okay. Any opinion you hold makes you a bad person on the internet now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, remember that See, time I, I said Dane Cook should stop dating that school shooting victim earlier in the show? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Said she hadn't earned didn't it. Didn't you make that up? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you spreading fake news about that? <laughs> absolutely are, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you need to be an intellectual to enjoy Rick and Morty. I'm just saying she's sperm jacking him. <laughs> a lot of people are sperm jacking a lot of people. Yeah, there's a lot of sperm jacking. They're just uh, not in the public eye. Right, yeah. Well, hopefully not, or it'll turn red. Oh, nice. How do you guys feel about uh, donating your, your seed? I, I've never done it, but I do it. I feel fine with it. Who am I yeah. donating it to? Uh, good. Uh, you know, a anonymous. Bank. Yeah. Oh, anonymous. Bank? I don't know if anonymous. I, I don't know Wait, what they're well, do would you anonymous. actually? Would you rather be on the list of like, you know, come find me or don't come find me? How much would you sell your cum for? Let's just get right to the bottom line. How much you got? <laughs> also. Does sperm in a sperm bank gain interest? Ooh, good question. You mean, does the sperm create more sperm? Yeah, think about it. Well, actually, theoretically it might. Because if your sperm turns into a man one day and he donates to the sperm bank, mm -hmm. you've created more sperm. What? Oh, you've created an appreciable lineage. Yeah, it's like perpetual sperm. So it's in a sperm investment. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. If you just kind of leave it in a cup, it'll turn into a human being that has come of its own. <laughs> That's how thermodynamics works. Little by little, works. a man will appear. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get a little job and a little briefcase and make more little sparks. Oh, I saw that in that uh, VR game that uh, Squan Stendo made. Chad's right. You need to water it. <laughs> okay, it's time for some quip They're very picky with who can donate to the sperm donation banks. And you uh, you go on a, a plan and you got to come back and jack it every so many weeks. Come back. The first thing that pops into your mind right now. Come oddities or Ryan's torn <laughs> butt heel. <laughs> but oh, I mean, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, speaking of these prompts, um, I just want to read a, a message from uh, from Ryan earlier. Seg three quiplash to trade in two hours of memes for dividends. <laughs> I did say that. This is us. We're trading them in, boys. Hope you like it. A Socrates quote that nobody bothered to write down. How much would you sell your cum for? Or sperm reproduces naturally. <laughs> you see your dividends, Chet. <laughs> What you get? What if you showed up with a donation in advance? Would they just take it? I highly doubt that. No, I think it's got to be done in the controlled environment. You would think, yeah. They'll just be like, "We'll just make another one." What's the big deal? Throw that one in the, throw that one on the street and make another one. You know what's messed up is like, in England, Robert. when you pay taxes, they give you a letter that's like, "Here's where your money Next went." One. You know, twelve wow. percent went to this. This is assisted gaslighting. <laughs> when you eat food, your body should print out like an audit of where the calories went. I want to know like how many calories are going to like physical activity, my brain thinking of all these amazing jokes. Um, right. <laughs> like how many calories a day go yeah. to growing my fingernails and growing my hair that I just shave off anyway? That's inefficiency. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it sucks as kids in like a hundred years from now are going to have a GTA style stat screen for every action that happens in their life. It's going to look like scum in real life. <laughs> oh, yeah. I hope not. <laughs> I hope God can hire a UX designer. No offense, Mal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mouth loves scum. Mouth loves God. <laughs> also true. Scum's not Scum's bad. bad You're just bad. They, they could both be true. <laughs> the reason Pluto isn't a planet anymore because he's a dog or Kingdom Very Hearts good Three answer. wasn't Very rest. good answer. Like that, yeah. So good that you had to talk over mine. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, because he's a dog one. Maybe because it's the only weird. one that people heard. Are you guys all introverted people outside of this job? A hundred percent. Yeah. No. Like, Are you not? Four, Forty-five, fifty-five. Yeah, I'm so introverted, I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> way to one up, like Jesus. The best way to keep a coworker from stealing your lunch: sperm or come on it. So is so sperm just place. like spores? Like you just release a cloud of aerosolized semen? Dude, I know I've mentioned this on the show before, but like when we were in the sex class that my wife and I took in college, we oh, learned about this what bit. The fuck? No, <laughs> like Let to me, learn how to do it. Yeah, that's what we wanted. I'm a, uh, I bear. I know nothing about Mormonism. This, you couldn't be not joking. <laughs> it was yeah. an animal sexuality class, like a biology class. Oh, oh nice. teach you how to do a doggy style. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. You know it. What is leopard animal sexuality? Like? I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Mormon sex classes. But did Mormon you figure sexes. out why they were turning the frogs gay? <laughs> Almost. We nearly cracked the <laughs> That was a great laugh. <laughs> was that? Oh, I thought that was Ryan, dude. Oh my god. That was that was really good though. Anyway, there's this fish that jerks off watching other fish have sex and then runs up and explodes its semen in a cloud in the water all over it oh, to try yeah. to fertilize their eggs and then runs away. Nice. Yeah. Well it swims away. Swings away. Well, it runs in, like its little legs, <laughs> really slowly through the water. <laughs> it's called the swish and swim. Ooh, that is that a sex move? The old sperm and worm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. They can't just rhyme. They, there's got to be like a little bit of meaning to it, right? What's no. the worm part? 
okay, when you swim, it's go. like a worm. So oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> using only two, using only two, using only two words. A new state motto for Texas. Who dat or bullet brisket. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, really all good. right. All right, yeah. <laughs> mm, I know, I want to go mm, as soon as I hear it. <laughs> Ah, uh, Texas. I think that is one of the best bits that's come out of the NLSS. Yeah, so. yeah, I agree with that. I still think our best joke was not even <laughs> on purpose. It was the maze thing. I still think that's I, the best one. I don't actually still even understand that. Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's just, it, it's an hour long joke. It took Yeah, no, long that's long why I'm, I'm not even going to invest anymore. I'm just I like, know. okay, fine, yeah. maze. Oh. That's funny for some reason. I got to go along with that for the next Coming eight years. Next. The worst, the worst words to say for the opening of a eulogy at a funeral. Oh, uh, ooh, notices bulgy wulgy or oof. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, both very, See, very you know, bad. If you stopped at notices bulge, I wouldn't have voted for you. But since you put it bulgy wulgy. <laughs> bulgy wulgy. How do you say is oh wow? Yeah, a fucking oh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Come, I asked this recently. Go on. Coming soon to a theater near you. Benedict Cumberbatch is benevolent Cuntenstein, or Benedict <laughs> or Benedict Cumberbatch is not hungry but could eat. I think I just spit on my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> the second one's really good too, honestly. Oh. That's really good. <laughs> Don't try to, don't try to <laughs> massage the boat, Ryan. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Seventy percent, okay, bitch. <laughs> New requirement at amusement parks. You must yeah, well, seventy percent of people listened to Coldplay and voted for the Nazis. So I will stand <laughs> to defend Coldplay till my dying day. <laughs> New requirement at amusement parks. You must be this erect to ride, or you must be this high to ride. Coldplay is bad, Radiohead. You're banished. You're banished to the seventh <laughs> circle of hell. Well, Coldplay could be good and still be bad, Radiohead. Is there bad Radiohead, like, amongst all the albums they've released? Is there a bad album? The first they have one. a lot of music. The first Hear one. me out. They should unite the bands Radiohead and Television. Television head. Television head. Isn't like yeah. a half of television Sorry, dead? Vote. Probably, yeah. <laughs> I think that's or just Buckethead. What <laughs> about TV on the radio? Oh, head. TV on the radio head. Mm -hmm. No, t television on the radio head. <laughs> oh, there nice. you go. Now that's a Got super it. group. <laughs> yep. The best way to tell if a tomato is ripe. If it tells you it's ripe, or eat it. If my tomato talks to me, <laughs> I'm throwing it into space. You know it's ripe, though. You wouldn't put it in, like, a little terrarium or something and just watch it grow? I'll be honest, I'll probably sell it to science. Dude, just I'd have conversations. Exists. I'd be like, yo, what's up, tomato? Be like, I'm <laughs> right. <laughs> what's up, tomato? What's up, tomato? There is oh, a... I'm really surprised so people hated Pablo Honey. I didn't know that was so agreed upon. I think mm. it's from... Well, you should reach uh, Pitchfork. You get all the right opinions, um, okay. but there's <laughs> a. I think it's. Say? I think it's from Comedy Bang Bang. And there's a hot dog restaurant in Vancouver now, called What's Up Hot three. Dog. Okay, spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're making that business one day. What really happened to Amelia Earhart? So I'm not gonna write. Her husband wasn't around to fly for her. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Because no, that why. would be sexist. <laughs> That's yeah. why you don't write it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, why yeah. I said it instead of writing it, because I'm not a Got coward. It. I was going to say she was assassinated by Ted Cruz, the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> One second. Less bad. Oh, no. Let's see the responses. I don't think he was around back Fly then, though. Votes. Well, what oh, you never know. What really happened to Amelia Earhart? A really big ear fart blew her out. She <laughs> Amelia <laughs> Air farted. Am no, I right? Oh, no. She flew <laughs> off the flat earth, or she flew to the moon. <laughs> Oh no! Play the drums. I don't like it. Oh, sorry. He does play the he drums. Good. He does play the drums. Yeah. Play the drums. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, I, I can't play the drums. Para 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 diddle, para para diddle, para 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 para
There yeah, were some moments like this, honestly. I think this is like the golden mo magic that the show creates. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's ending at the right Better time. golfers than Tiger Woods. Dividend this <laughs> bitch. I did shoot a minus 16 in that last round. That's pretty good. That's impressive, dude. Yeah. I mean, we were on the children's tees on the easiest course in the game, but still. <laughs> Can children play golf? Yeah, man! Dude, there's a documentary you can watch. They've got like kids that are freaking like barely walking and they're all like, you're gonna be the next Tiger Woods. What? How do what they are you drive? talking about? It's over. <laughs> Dude, Tiger Woods started when he was like three years old. True. How do they hit the drives though? Well, you can start slow and then you build muscle and... You're telling me there's a documentary about toddlers who golf. Well, it's it's about kids. It. It's about kids, but they talk about like how young they were when they started golfing and stuff like that. Mm. And uh, Anna Kornikova. It's called brother, Hole at is, One. Is in it? Is yeah, it Hole, hole at, at One? At one? Hole no, I just made that up. One. I was really proud. Oh, that's a really good that, name. That actually I thought sounds that was really cool. like it though. Yeah. Documentary about kids who golf. The short game, also a good yeah, name. That's, oh, that's, that's yeah. very good. Wow. Yeah. All right. Damn it. All right. I was trying yeah, to come Anna up with a good one. Anna Kornikova's little brothers in it. So they get toddlers and they hand them like a, a club and then they yeah. just hit, three hundred. No, like most of the kids are like, <laughs> I don't know. They range. They show some that are like six or seven, and then some that are I don't know, eleven, twelve. Okay, but. that seems like a good show. I got a better show. Hear me out. Give yeah. toddlers a golf club, right? Put a tied up man in front of them, and then next to the tied up man, a golf ball on a golf tee. See what they choose, you know? Mm, so mm. And a pinata. Put a pinata. Right. Yeah. Speaking of beating things until they die, that's the end yeah. of the show today. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. Why don't we take a look at our channels, and we'll start with Bear Taffy. <laughs> Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, B-A-E-R Taffy, or just Google Bear Taffy. You can spell it however you want because Google will correct you to the incorrect spelling. That's how you know I've won. Okay, how about you, Malf? Well, let me think about this for a second here. Uh... You have to, though? B-A-E-R Taffy, uh, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube, just in case you <laughs> forgot. That's not, that's not it. I think it's, it's where you Michael can find me. Fox. It's Robert. Playing a lot of Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man. And, and I've been getting a lot of pictures of Spider-Man as well. Nicholas? So Dan replied in on Twitter and said, I haven't had a chance to read it, but TMZ reached back out to me and said they were editing the article. Hey. Oh. So that's a pretty oh, solid ending to the story. I just wanted All to throw right. that in there. All right, I'm going to hang up. I got to get off of this uh, platform because, uh, well, my wife's got to stream. You're moving a mixer? My wife's got to stream. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> they can't afford me. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's, that's a challenge, true. Microsoft. Yeah. Anyway, see you. <laughs>